This is Eric Brittingham from Cinderella, and you're on Backstage Axis, where the real show begins. BackstageAccess.com, we're here at in Akron, New York, Bronze Concert Cove with the bass player from Cinderella, Eric Brigningham. Eric, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good, Gus. How you doing? All right, it's been a couple of years since we've seen him last, and yeah. uh, Cinderella is actually wrapping up their tour right here in Akron, New York, and uh, I believe this is the first time you guys have been in this area. I know you've been in Buffalo, but this is a brand new venue. Uh, it's only been open for a month. Tell us maybe like a story of you guys like opening up like a new venue throughout your career. Opening up a new venue? Yeah. Oh, geez. That, um, I don't know. I, I don't think we have actually. I don't think we no. or have we? We may have. <laughs> Who knows? But this is actually a new venue. I, actually, they uh, were supposed to have a different stage, like a permanent stage, and okay. and they didn't get that far. They're going to have that built by next year. I understand. Right, right. So um, uh, the owner is very cool. I've, we've been here all day hanging out. So. He was kind of filling me in, but this is a good, you know, temporary stage, and they have a lot of tickets sold. It's like I think double what they've Expected. ever done. Oh yeah, so. you guys are a fantastic band. If you haven't seen Cinderella live, you must see Cinderella live. Obviously, if you can't get the chance tonight, but when they uh, announce some more dates, and speaking about more dates, talk about maybe the possibility of you guys doing Monsters of Rock next year. Uh, they're they're talking about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm not sure if you know they have so many bands booked on it right, right now. I'm not sure if there's room, but uh, but we are trying to work that out. I, I would love to do it personally. Right. I had a blast last time. As far as I know, I don't remember a lot of it, especially <laughs> it last time. night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. <laughs> uh, Eric, uh, 25 years of Cinderella. I mean, would you expect it? Or you can't believe it's gone this you know to this point? Yeah. I mean, the well, guys still obviously. It's like a sold out crowd here tonight. Fans yeah. love you. I mean, is it like gone beyond your wildest expectations? Oh, absolutely. It's like, yeah, we it's been 26 years since our first record. Right. And um, actually I've been playing with Tom for uh, for 30 years now, which is crazy. You know, if you think yep. about it, it's like, you know, I didn't even think I'd live past 35. Like when we <laughs> first started playing, but right. um, yeah, like now it's like, yeah, we can still go out and like play shows. And, uh, you know, we'll play anywhere from, like, these, you know, uh, stages like this. We played uh, uh, Pine Knob or DTE, right. they call DTE, it now. Yeah. Last night I had a great crowd there, and, you know, as a headliner, it was very, very cool. You know, and uh, there's very there's some circumstances where we, you know, we had one a couple of weeks ago we had to pull out of a, a, a show, but it's just right. miscommunication and whatnot, but we hate to do it. We'd like to play anywhere that has electricity, but... Sometimes that's unrealistic. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> so, right. But uh, yeah, I'm 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 just uh, fortunate to be able to still do this. Um, and you filled in for Poison. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. mean, so you obviously you keep busy and, and naked yeah. naked beggars. And naked beggars. I, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of to the. Is there a possibility of rekindling that? Well, no, Ingo. Uh, well, you know, she's still writing, right. and um, uh, we talked about doing another record, but I don't know. We might just record a few songs, put them out like for digital download. Yeah. Um, first touring like we have little ones now i was just gonna say congratulations yeah. you got a couple of new ones new, yeah. new additions to the family yeah, yeah we got livy and svea yeah, like right. a year and a half old and three years old yeah. so yeah i'd say touring is probably out plus inga just opened her own eyewear store okay in nashville called barton Pereira. it's an eyewear brand okay. and um yeah she's doing very well and you know, she's been doing that for 15 years that's kind of her side right. passion i remember her saying that yeah, yeah so uh, you know but you know like we might you know eventually i like, get together and do some shows uh jeff and i have talked about it and and uh, talked to chris about it and you right. know we may we may do it but you know see what that. happens yeah <laughs> yeah in the meantime we're we're wrapping this up tonight this is our last show of the, of, of the summer and uh i'm just gonna be doing some session work and um i do some acoustic gigs here and there and right whatever so anything to keep the chops up and pay the bills so you know. And you live in the songwriter's capital city. I mean, yeah. Nashville is yep. it's it's where it's at right now. Yeah, Nashville, um, Tennessee. 
I think the, it, Tom's there and is the whole band living there? Uh, pretty much, except for Fred. Fred, Fred. was, I think, the he's first to move there. Right? Yeah. yeah, then he's, he moved out to L.A. about seven or eight years ago. Yeah. And I've been in Nashville for 14 years now. It doesn't seem like that, but yeah, I've been living in Nashville almost as long as I lived in Philly. So it's kind of crazy. You know, so it's so definitely. Who's home. your football team? Are you an Eagles fan or yeah, are you a I Titans am, fan? I am not a sports fan. No, at all. <laughs> no. I, I, I mean, Jeff is a sports right. nut. You know, I'm like, I'm like, oh, they play football before the Super Bowl. I didn't know that. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, I thought it was like the day you get together and drink a lot of beer right. and eat, you know, wings and <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, this is kind of cool. But yeah. um, I think a lot of people out there want to know. It's been a long time since new Cinderella material has been surfaced, or you know, has surfaced, I should say. What's the possibilities of that going forward? Any new music? I mean, I would love to. I mean, I know, um, um, you know, I mean, Tom is really, he's been working on a, on a solo record for okay. 10 years. Right. So, I mean, I don't see us doing anything until he gets that out, you know, gets that release. I hear he's working on it, I, you know, on releasing it this year. I have no idea. That may, that may you know, you know, appease some Cinderella fans, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. You know, he, you know, he's 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 the writer for the band, right. so, you know, I, I mean, I, I've not heard a note of it. He's very secretive, so, I, I don't know. Who knows? It might, you know, it could be anything. But I, I have a feeling that it probably sounds a lot like Cinderella. So, well, for the few fans out there who have never seen Cinderella live, tell them when they come to see a show, what can they expect? I don't know. Just uh, well, uh, it's gonna be loud because we, uh, we 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 uh, the guy who does our sound, we fired him for not being loud enough. But, <laughs> but I don't know. It's like it's just a just a straight ahead rock show. You know, we go out and and just do what we do, and and um, you know, and you know, we don't definitely don't go through the motions. That's for sure. Because you get out there, and it's like that's the hour we live for. You know, so. And one of the ba few bands, obviously, maybe the moniker, you know, uh, hair metal or whatever you want to call it, glam metal, back in the 80s, you're one of the few bands that really had some substance to you guys. And I don't think a lot of people out there knew that. You know, great yeah. songwriting, very blues, hard rock based. Uh, the band's very tight. Uh, I've seen you guys a couple years ago. You sounded better than ever. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing you guys tonight. And uh, I say stay tuned to Cinderella.com, or is it .net, I believe, .net. right? .net. .net. Yeah. .com uh, gets you nowhere because somebody's been squatting on that for <laughs> 20 years. It's okay. like, really? .net, and check out any information regarding Cinderella. We appreciate Eric taking the time to tell us about Naked Beggars. Hopefully yeah. we'll see some new music there. Yeah. And um, hopefully Tom gets uh, done with the solo album so we can get yeah. some new Cinderella music. Yeah, and I may it, actually be doing, like, another side project. I'm not, okay. I'm not sure. i got some ideas and... You know, it would be very, if I bring it to light, it would be very cool. Okay. So, and yeah. stay tuned to Eric's side projects and yeah. backstageaccess.com. Thanks for taking the time. Cool.